Hi, my name is Veronim, and I'm here to present my app, Atengo, for the 2021 Congressional App Challenge. So what's my app and what's my inspiration? Well, I've noticed that teachers have to do a lot of repetitive tasks, and one of these tasks is attendance. Although the traditional attendance system is very useful, there are many setbacks to it, including manual work and repetition as a teacher has to take attendance and enter that data into a software multiple times a day, inefficient usage of time as attendance takes about five to 10 minutes per class, occasional data that is incorrect due to human error, and not enough data analyzation options. My app provides a fast and accurate attendance system via facial recognition, user-friendly UI with minimal setup, and both student-based and session-based attendance analysis that is reinforced with uh, user-friendly charts. My tech stack includes Flutter and Dart for front end, Google MLK, and TensorFlow facial recognition for middleware, and Firebase's real-time database and storage for backend. My, here's my flowchart, here's my facial recognition logic, and here's a demo. As you can see, whenever the teacher first opens the app, he or she is greeted with a list of all the classes that they are enrolled in. If they want to add a new class, they simply click on the Add New Class button, after which they add the name of the class, choose a color for the class, and click on Go. After they do that, as you can see, the class is created. Now, if the teacher wants to add a student to a class, they click on the class they want to add the student to, after which they simply wait, and then they switch on to the Student tab and click on the Create Student. Now, the next thing the teacher wants to do is click on the capture image and take an image of the student. Make sure that the student is well lit and its face is visible for better results. And after the image is captured, the students or the teacher can simply add the first name and last name of the student, after which they select the grade of the student and then they simply hit enter. Now, this is a one time thing. This is a one time process. And after they click on enter, as you can see, the student is added. Now, let's imagine that this teacher has to start the math attendance session because the, the math class is about to start. In order to do this, she would go back and then they would they would click on math. And now, as you can see, this math session or class already has some students and some sessions. But if they want to create a new session or start the attendance process, they would simply click on the plus over here. And as you can see, there are multiple tabs for the for the live attendance, including an absent, tardy and present. Now, everybody's absent at the beginning because that's just how the app works. But as a student comes in and he takes a look at the image and it processes his face, it automatically turns the student from absent to present. As you can see, we have a name followed by the time the student has entered the class. After this is accomplished and the teacher wants to save or end the session, they would simply click on the check mark on the top left corner. And after you do that, you have a, uh, you have a box pop up on the session list. And as you can see, it has the date of the session followed by the time the session is started. In order to analyze the session, you click on the box and you have a chart, some raw data, and you can see who's present, tardy, and absent. If you want to analyze data from a student point of view, you would simply go onto the student list, click on the student, and as you can see, you have raw data and charts. That's my, uh, that's my app analysis. Now, what I learned, I learned how to develop effective UIs with Flutter, how to implement computer vision backend, and I bettered my understanding on Firebase. Future improvements would be a more advanced data analysis, adding features like noting when a person takes a break and make linking accounts.